guys welcome back to Drew tutorial and in this video i'm going to show you how to fix steam captcha appears to be invalid error on your computer right on your windows pc so what you want to do guys the first thing that i recommend to you is to clear your cookies and i'm going to walk you through a few different solutions that you can basically use to address this issue so let's get started so the first thing we want to do is to clear our cookies so what i recommend is that you open up your google chrome and on the upper right hand side click three dots and then go to settings now from here click on the privacy and security on the left hand side then go down to where you'll have you want to click on delete browsing data you'll receive a pop-up you want to go ahead and ensure that you uncheck these two which is the browsing history and your cache image and files you just want to ensure that cookies and other site data is selected click the drop down here select all times and simply hit on delete now as for the next step go ahead click the windows key on your keyboard here or your taskbar guys and simple type in cmd once you find this simple right click on that and run this as administrator you'll get a pop-up on your pc just simply click on yes and you'll have the CMD appear. Now from here, all you have to do is simple type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS, right? Once you go ahead and do this, all you have to do is just go ahead and flush your DNS connection. So go ahead and simple type that in and you will see that your DNS is completely flushed and it is basically clear there. So what you wanna do now is to try again. If this does not fix the issue for you, let's move on to another set of instructions that you can use to try to solve the issue. Now, the next thing that you can do, guys, is to clear all of your junk file in Windows. So press the Windows key on your keyboard again, and you want to simple type in run. Once the run command appears, guys, once run appears, guys, all you have to do is just simple type in the word prefetch. Go ahead and hit enter, and you'll receive a pop-up on your computer. It will ask you for your administrative privilege. You want to go ahead and select that and then you'll have this appear on your PC. Now, you'll have a ton of different files here, right? All of these files are junk files, so you no need to worry. Just simply go ahead and select all of these files and you simply want to go ahead and hit delete on your keyboard and you will be able to delete these files. So that's what you want to do. Go ahead and delete these files from your PC. So all you have to do is just press Ctrl A on your computer to select all of these files. Go ahead and delete all of these files. Now, once you delete these files, guys, the next thing that you want to do is to simply go ahead and click the Windows key on your keyboard again and simply type in run. Once you go ahead and hit run on your PC, go ahead and open this. And from here, this time you want to type in run, just simple type in temp and hit OK. You will be able to see another window appear. Just click on continue to allow administrative privilege here, guys. And again, just like the previous step, you want to select all these files and simply hit delete on your keyboard to delete these files. Now, to wrap up this second step, guys, you want to go ahead and again, type in run on your PC. So once you go ahead and open up run, but this time you want to use percentage temp percentage right or you can call this call this modulus percentage modulus go ahead and hit enter there and again you'll have a bunch of different temp files here you want to go ahead and select all of these temporary files and simply hit on delete keep in mind that just like the previous solution here in case you try to delete certain files and you receive a pop-up you can simply go ahead and skip some of those files it's nothing to worry about you can simply go ahead and skip files and you can just proceed until it delete all that it can possibly delete for you. So once you try those two solutions, guys, see if it actually solves your problem. And guess what? As a third and final solution that I want to offer to you is that if you try these and it's not working, what you can do is to try to sign in using the capture by Sony. And I'm going to show you a typical example. So let me go ahead and open up an image here of a capture so that you can see what I'm about to share with you. Let's go ahead and open this in just um, image here. And let me move this here so that you can see. Now, once you're signing, you will receive a capture just like this, right? And instead of go ahead and try to use the picture here to select those different captures, instead, what you want to do is choose the option that says by sound. And this is basically to use the earphone this option right so what you will do is just basically select this option and it will play something for you you will hear something and what's going to happen is that once you select this you just need to click and play it will say press play to listen you press it 
and you listen and based on what you hear, you enter it and then you'll press verify. Now, if you, for example, don't hear what it says correctly, don't, there is a, there's three buttons at the bottom, information, the I, and also to refresh, but you don't want to refresh it. Most of the times, once you press this refresh, it's going to give you an error. So what I recommend to do is just try to listen carefully and continue to listen different ones until you understand what it's saying and you just enter it. Don't refresh, just let it play, play until you understand something and then you will just enter it and click verify. And I get, and I guarantee one of these should, and I hope one of these solutions should really help you to fix the issue. Um, for me, I've managed to solve it with on multiple occasions with one of the three solutions. So I'm, I'm hoping one of the three will really help you to solve that for you. And that's basically it guys, very easy and very simple. I hope that you will find this useful and that it will help you to solve your problem. So that's it. That's how to go ahead and fix the Steam capture appears to be invalid error message while you're trying to log into your Steam account.